The Earth is of course a sphere. And if you try to depict the sphere as a flat map, there has to be compromises. You just can't correctly depict this with this. The theory behind this you can find in Carl Friedrich Gauss's Theorema Egregium, which proved that the sphere's surface cannot be presented on a plane without distortion. A hands-on example of this is trying to flatten out an orange peel without tearing it. You can't do it. And as with any other compromises you would have to do in life, there's some you can live with and some you just can't tolerate. When we look at world maps, the most common map projection is this one. And it's called the Mercator projection. Map projections are just what we call the different ways to represent the world or a country. The Mercator projection is a cylindrical map projection presented by the Flemish geographer and cartographer Gerardus Mercator in 1569. It became the standard map projection for nautical purposes because its ability to represent lines of constant course. So it's really handy for navigating at sea, but it's horrible at depicting the right sizes between countries. The longer away you come from the equator, the larger everything is projected. As you see here, Greenland is for instance nowhere near as big as Africa. And my home country, Norway, is far from the size you might think looking at the Mercator projection. You can easily compare and see the true size of a country on the true size of .com. You might be surprised to find out how big Africa really is. There are of course other map projections that more correctly represent the right sizes. One is a sinusoidal projection that shows relative sizes accurately, but grossly distorts shapes. The distortion can be reduced by interrupting the map. And you have a lot more map projections as well, each for a different purpose. All of this of course can be avoided if you use a globe instead of a map. But globes aren't that handy to carry around. They cost more to produce and you can't see every country in the world at just one glance. Why the Mercator projection became the most popular one has most likely many reasons. One might be that it's more satisfying to look at a map that fills out an entire rectangle than something like this. Another one might be that it's the notch projection that we're most used to. And most people like to stick to what we already know. Another funny thing to think about is that if you rotate the map any other direction than north to south, it's equally right. This map isn't any more upside down than this one. If you want to know more about map projections, check out the links below and feel free to also check out these two other geography related videos I've made. And uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.